Now, uh, the most popular synthetic index is volatility 75, and uh, most of us tend to confuse it with the VIX, the fear factor. Uh, I've explained the difference uh, between the two in uh, one, one of the lengthy videos when I was talking about synthetic indices. Now, today's video, I want to share with you guys if you want to be consistent in trading volatility 75. Not, not that you're not going to make a loss. Uh, of course, as a trader, I expect by now that you understand that losses are part of the game. Though your losses have to be less, uh, they have to be less, just like in other business. If you want to be profitable, you have to make less losses and more profit. So it will balance off overall you're profitable, right? So if you want to have very, very minimal losses and a high uh, uh, return rate, you have to do the following things that we are going to be discussing in this video. Because those who know me personally, I have traded V75 for very many years and it's my favorite. Even those that I teach privately know that I like using it for examples. I like, I trade it almost every day, almost every day, both intraday and also some, I love swinging it because it's easy. As long as you understand price action, it is easy. But before we go there, I would like us to talk about uh, fast bull. Uh, in case uh, you you want to have a very nice uh, economic calendar that you can uh, change into different languages. If you want to have uh, a chat panel whereby you can see what other traders are, are discussing. It's very important as a trader to to be in a community whereby uh, your people are doing the same thing that you're doing so that you can share ideas. And also that I've introduced now, you can do analysis there. Uh, they have a very nice analysis uh, panel whereby you can do analysis free of charge. Then also you can now copy trades uh, from traders who are performing well. You can first check uh, how they're performing for that particular time. And then uh, you can decide to copy, check the followers, check the win ratio and the loss rate. Then you can decide to copy the person's uh, trades. Then also the AI signals, this one I've been talking about then, uh, whereby you can you can compare with your analysis. It's very important to compare with your analysis first before you can make that decision. So you can either choose copy trading here or you can decide to uh, copy the AI signals and then you can, uh, you can, you can, take the trades after comparing. Then also uh, you can decide to check the market sentiments, check the institution orders. It's a very detailed website that gives you a lot as a trader. If you're really serious about trading, right? You can also check the sentiments. You can also check uh, if you want to learn things, what are stocks. Some of you don't understand what stocks are and how can you utilize the opportunity to trade these stocks and be able to make money, right? They, they have a lot of material there, right? Then also if you want news, if you want to to read what is happening, to keep up to date with what's happening in the financial markets. They have a lot of things there, right? But most importantly, you can also create your group, right? You can create your group here and share whatever idea that you have with your people, right? So that is it about Fast Bull. I won't leave the link in the description. Make sure that you check them out. It's a very good uh, platform. Uh, now, coming back to what we're talking about, V75. Now, uh, V75, the, if you want to master it, one thing you have to identify is you need to have a time frame whereby you're going to be getting the turning point, right? By turning point, I mean if the market was going up, where it, turns, where it uh, changes to come down, this turning point here, and it has to be a big time frame. Now, depending on what type of trader you are, you can decide to choose either weekly or you can decide to choose daily. You can say some people even go further to H4, but I prefer you choose either weekly or daily because uh, we want to get a significant turning point, like a turning point that is very strong. Are we together? So uh, in this example here, I'm going to use all of them because I told you like I was, when I was starting the video, I told you that I do both uh, swing trade it and also do intraday because it's very heavy. The p number of pips that you can make out of V75, sometimes even currencies don't give you in a month. So you can do both intraday and swing trading. Generally, I'm a swing trader, but on V75, particularly and synthetics, I sometimes do intraday, right? Now, we are saying that first you have to determine it. You have to have a time frame. It must be a constant time frame. Don't change that today I'm doing this, tomorrow I'm, do I'm using this time frame. No. If you say that I'm going to be using weekly, then you can. You stick to weekly. So meaning that whenever you open your chart, you go to weekly and then you mark your turning point. For example, if I'm to use weekly, I know that I have this turning point here, for example. I have this turning point here and also there's, an, there's a hidden structure. I've been speaking about hidden structures and I've mentioned it that you can, if you've watched our video on uh, support and resistance, you can use line chart to identify it. So we also have this turning point like this. Are we together? Just like that. And you're done, right? This is the first step. You must have 
a time frame wise which is giving you turning points now these turning points here are when you mark them these are the areas where you want to take the trade from of course in connection with the the flow of the market now for example this market is flowing downwards making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs right so in this case you will want you will wait you will mark the levels and wait for price to return to that point then you can take your trade or if not you can use it the other way around there are two types of traders there are traders who trade continuations and traders who trade reversals for example if you're trading a continuation waiting for a price to reach either here or here then you can take your trade but if you're trading a reversal it means that these are going to be your targets those are two different types of traders though if you're a beginner i don't recommend uh reversal reversal trading i recommend continuation trading so this is an example of weekly now the same applies to uh to to daily if i come to daily like this right you can clearly see this was a turning point you mark it you wait for price to return to it and then you take a sell right like this right return to it then you take a sell again we have another turning point here you wait for the price to return to it then you take a trade now currently to as of today uh if i'm to mark a turning point here what do i what turning point there was a previous turning point here which the market went to retest to use to push up it retested and then we broke down and retested it now today as of today we have this turning point here like this right so i'm just going to mark this turning point and currently price is exactly in that level so let me just mark it properly currently price is just exactly into this area here right what do, so what's the flow of the market remember we said first mark the turning point and then make sure you're trading in the direction of the flow of the market so in this if you're to observe we're making low lower high low lower high low so we're again testing here meaning that we're going to be looking for what a push low are we together so just the same as i showed in weekly so from here after identifying the the turning point right turning point is giving us the area of what the area of interest are we together so this is the area of interest i take my trade from are we together so it means that i want to look for a selling opportunity in this case are we together now after that then i can uh, go to and choose my entry time frame are we together now if i'm using daily i have to make sure my entry time frame is i skip one time frame for example day, after daily there is h4 right and then there is h1 so meaning i want to skip h4 and my entry time frame is going to be h1 but if I've chosen weekly, there's daily, meaning I want to skip daily and my entry time frame will be H4. Are we together? So it's what we are going to do next. For example, if I've marked my level like this in daily, I'll just skip this H4 here. If you want, you can just check it just to see what's happening, but you can clearly see it's the same. So also we have here low, lower high, a low. So meaning that this is a previous turning point that we are retesting. Also, you can see it's a turning point here. We are retesting this point, then we can go lower, right? So uh in this case it, my entry time frame is going to be h1 so i'm just going to adjust here in h1 like this right and then that will be the, the areas, I'm, areas i'm interested in so you can clearly see that we have a low the market of course waited double bottoms here equal highs then we we made a low lower high low so we are retesting this point here so remember what i told you guys that since this is a low lower high lower low the market has the liberty to play between the lower high and the level it's testing so the market can trend inside here before changing trend the more it pushes higher into this it's even better for us to have a better risk to address it gives us a better risk to address but most people think that the moment the market is pushing into the lower high this is a low lower high lower low the moment it's pushing to this lower high here they think now we are supposed to start buying no are we together remember we have said first the turning point is giving us area of interest which it has given us in this in this case this is this area here but we when we put when we look at the, the flow which is downtrend which is a low lower high lower low we have our lower high here that the market has created so price has the liberty to push into it but the, the problem will come when if the market breaks the lower high which is in this case this level here if we break this lower high it means that now we are not looking for sales we are looking for buys are we together so that's why i'm saying that after identifying the turning point make sure it is in the you check for the flow of price now in this case the full flow of price is downwards are we together so meaning that i'm going to be looking for sales but also in the process we need to understand the structure and the structure is saying that we are testing this previous lower low right but we should not break the lower high so the price can play in between here as long as they don't break the lower high. the moment it breaks it means now we shall be looking for buys 
Are you together? But if they don't break it, means that we shall be looking for sales. So meaning that this area here is where we are going to be looking for our change of trend, but in H1. Now, that is a, your entry time frame. But remember now you can, uh, if the price is so aggressive like this, you can also do what we call refining. I've spoken about refining the in the time frame video. Make sure you check it in case you don't understand. So you can refine in minute 30, you can refine in minute 15. Now, if you come to minute 15 and minute 30, you can even see the trending properly. You can see higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Now, you can clearly see the market is still pushing up. You don't want to sell in a market that is pushing higher. This is what we call change of trend. You want to wait for the market to stop change, pushing higher high and higher low to start making lower lows and lower highs. That's when you take your trade in that market situation. Now, the question is, how do you set your target? You set your target. The first target is this, the structure that has not been tested. And then the first structure that is not tested is this level here, right? So we have this level. It's not tested. You can even check it in daily. Uh, when you come to daily, you, you, your first target is going in daily. Your, first, your target is going to be that bottom there, right? But then when you come to H4 and the rest, and H1 and the rest, we have this level here that's not tested. It's like a false breakout. You can see the market turned from here, went up, then uh, made the first breakout and then turned back up, right? This would be your other target. Now, H1 also, uh, you can see here it's a false breakout. Why is it a false breakout? The market turned from here, pushed higher. False breakout broke above, tested it. You can see we tested it and again we broke up. Meaning that this area here has not been tested. So it will be your other target. Then also in the refining time frame, you can clearly check that we do have this level here. It's not tested. If you want, you can just put it on the tip here right now the rest have been tested you can see this one here the market broke above it was tested then also this one currently here has been tested right this year price has already tested this point so if the market stops making the higher highs higher lows higher highs and higher lows then it makes maybe double tops or higher and breaks below to start making lower uh, lower lows and lower highs then your first target is going to be that level that price did not test and then the last one will be this one here that's how you set targets are we together so first Wait for change of trend, and then you can uh, you can take the trade, right? But the targets, I've showed you how you get the targets. So this, if you follow this method, you're going to trade a volatility 75 consistently. You can clearly see it's pure price action. And if you've been following us, this is exactly how we trade also others. But this method here, I just want you to make it precise for you. One, choose a time frame where you're going to, make, uh, to get turning points, right? For example, I've showed you in daily, I've showed you in weekly, right? Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you, most people I know are intraday traders, so I'm based so much on daily. You can see we got our turning point, and currently price has reached our turning point, right? And then our first target, we got it as the bottom of this, but then we went further and we start mark, started marking levels that were not tested. We have this level that was not tested as the price was going up. And then we say that since this market is so aggressive, it needs that we need to refine so that we can be able to, to check change of trend. So we refined uh, we want to mean at 30, you can see the market is now giving us a proper trend. Also, mean at 15, you can see the market is making higher highs and higher lows. You can clearly see, right? So you don't want to sell. Since we're looking for a sale, you don't want to sell in a market that is still bullish. Most of you, as long as the market touches here, you start looking for sales, which is dangerous. That's why you see the market reaches and it takes you out. By the time it is selling, you've already lost uh, the money that you're supposed to use, right? So if you follow this method here, you're going to be very, very consistent in uh, in trading volatility 75. One, just a reminder, I'm over repeating myself, but it's for our own benefit. One, make sure you have a time frame where you identify the, the turning point. And if the turning point is saying that it's a resistance, at resistance, we're looking for a sell. If it's saying it's a support, at support, we're looking for buys. But it should be in alignment with the flow of price. For example, in our flow here, this is a downtrend, right? Now, if it's a downtrend, there's no need for me to be looking for a buy unless the market changes trend and we have said how does it change trend if it breaks the last lower high then we can start looking for buys are we together so in this case we say that how does the market how shall we not look for a buy here if the market this is our last we identify this as our last lower high this is our last lower high this is the lower low that we are currently testing so if the market doesn't test here or if it comes and aggressively breaks above then we shall look for a retest and we can be targeting the same thing now the first target if we are to start looking for buys, our first target will be this high here, right? The same high. This uh, Since we have changed there, we can first target this high here, right? Then after that, you can check which levels have not been tested. We also have this level here. It wasn't tested. This neckline here, you can mark it, right? So 
then also you can go further and you depending on the time frame that you, you, you have chosen right so first we are using this area here to look for sales but it has the liberty to go up to the lower high then we can uh, push lower but if it aggressively breaks above and comes into this area here right then your first target should be this one here because it will be like retesting here. If the momentum is weak, then we can continue higher to target also the next high. This is how you trade uh, volatility 75. Just use turning points. First, have a bigger time frame turning point. Do not analyze it in minute 15 and the rest. Minute 15, minute 30, minute 5, those are refining time frames that you should be using to take uh, trades, refined entries actually not for analysis. The moment you analyze it in those time frames, you're not going to be consistent, right? I hope this is helpful and you utilize it. Please follow it. It will be very, very helpful to make you consistent. And that's our aim. If you found value, do not forget to leave the like. Uh, uh, do not forget to click the like button and also do not forget to subscribe if you're the first time. Have a great day.